These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mountain Goat. The news could not get any better. I know we all await news of the accession of Iraq to the WTO. Many have asked if Iraq has already completed the accession process. I will tell you they have completed it, and we are waiting for the announcement of full accession, but there is some legislation requirements that must be met first. Why is the WTO important for our investment in the dinar? It's important because Iraq will need an international currency in order to trade with the international markets. Mark Z has an article, quote, al Sudani arrives in Davos to push the development and road agenda. He is pushing to be international in world trade. Claire has an article, quote, the House of Representatives discusses the latest requirements for Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization. Quote, Iraq has completed all requirements for joining the World Trade Organization in 2023, and only legislation remains, unquote. Militiaman um, also has an article, quote, we completed in one year the equivalent of more than 15 years of work, unquote. Militiaman says the delegation has been working with Iraq to have an ascension to the WTO. They're telling you they did the equivalent of 15 years worth of work in one year. It's flat out, knock your socks off good information. Not me making it up, not anybody else making this stuff up. This is what they're giving us to share with you. Uh, uh, Guru Fnun Lu, uh, and this is a response to Pimpy. Um, Iraq has more oil than Kuwait. They also have a huge top-of-the-ground gold deposit. Iraq has a very large gas supply, which would add nearly 3 billion cubic feet a day around uh, 517,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day. This will fuel gas-powered electricity production. This will eliminate Iran from the equation, and they would lose their grip on Iraq. Um, there are several plans afoot. Iraq recently held a two-day event looking for foreign investment to develop their mineral resources. During the event, Ministry Minister of Industry and Minerals Khalid Badal Najam offered investors long-term partnership opportunities and a long list of state-linked phosphate, nitrogen, sulfur, fertilizer, and glass production products. No, Iraq is not short of means of diversification. These examples just scratch the surface. Mark Z via PDK, uh, Article quote, Al Sudani discusses with JP Morgan the opening of accounts with Iraqi banks. This is a worldwide thing, and to me, this means international. Frank 26, besides uh, Sudani and Alak, the only two we listen to, I want you to add Barzani. As time goes on and by, you'll understand why. Barzani is working very nicely with Sudani, Baghdad, the GOI. We're adding Barzani to the group. Sudani and Alak are explaining the monetary reward to the Iraqi citizens. So is Barzani. Pimpy says this was a concern. Iraq was definitely on the right track, but it appears that at no fault of their own, their country is being bombed by two different nations, Iran and Turkey. Let's just hope whatever is going on gets it over with quickly so Iraq can get back on track. Mark Z and Militiaman via PDK article, quote, Iraq recalls ambassador from Iran after missile strikes ministry. Mark Z says this is concerning while we watch what is going on in the Middle East. There were missile strikes launched from Iran to the Kurdish, Kurdish region of Iraq. Question, do you think the attacks on our embassy in Erbil, Kurdistan, will hinder slash delay the RV? Mark Z says, to me, this doesn't change what's going on economically. If anything, it may put the pressure on to move things faster. Militiaman says, Iran is in a pinch. Their cash cow is going away. Stopping the graft at the Iraq border will stop their ability to do money laundering and smuggling through customs. So in my opinion, this attack is a blowback. Paulette says, based on the articles today, it looks to be clear that Iraq still has some work to do for full accession to the WTO, but it appears the final push is on. 
Bruce Viaweiser now says we are looking for this to happen anywhere from now through probably Friday. We have heard source of very high respected source talking about notifications Wednesday or Thursday. I just cannot absolutely prove it. I'm only giving you what I'm getting from the top sources. So many of these sources that we have gone dark. Uh, they've gone gag order, new NDAs, but we have heard a little bit come through. We should get done this week. Clear article quote, Saudi Arabia strongly supports Iraq's accession to the World Trade Organization. Another quote, the head of the Saudi delegation confirmed that kingdom believes that Iraq is a country that has chosen peace and stability and seeks to achieve economic development, pointing to the importance of Iraq to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia from an economic standpoint, unquote. All right, game of patience as Iraq is waiting for the reforms to be implemented to complete their accession and join the WTO. Militiaman Mark Z via PDK. Militiaman says, last July, al Alak said, drop the 3-0 project still exists. Not a lop. They are going to add value to the dinar, adjust the exchange rate, a good thing is Sadani keeps warning the citizens the dinar is going to be stronger than the dollar. He's said it more than once. Uh, Mark Z says Iraq is positioned well for the worldwide economy. Militiaman says Iraq is going to be a very wealthy country. All right, Militiaman also says now you have five articles from the WTO. You have documents from the Central Bank of Iraq, 11 pages talking about metal coins, why would you be talking about metal coins slash currencies and exchanging notes, counting them, mechanisms to do all that when you don't have any? 1310, there's no coins. Then you see five articles about the ascension to the World Trade Organization. I'm pumped. I'm excited about it. Frank26 says, what did we say they were going to do on the 15th? Go international. Do you think they did? Frank says, yeah. It's not for me to prove it to you. It's for them to show it to you. But let them show it to the citizens first. All right, Pimpy says, I've had uh, people say, can you make an argument for the $3.22 rate? Yep. Can you make an argument for the one seventeen rate? Yep, I can. Pimpy says, I can make an argument for all these different rates easily, but there is a difference between making an argument for what you want versus the reality of things of what's going to happen. And lastly, Bruce via Wiser now says, so today we heard that there was an in-country rate on the dinar, a little over $3. That's in-country uh, for Iraq, but our rate is going to be, remember what Dr. should be, maybe said back in December of 2012 at the International Chamber of Commerce meeting when Blue Star asked him what he thought the rate on the dinar would be to the dollar, and Dr. Shabibi said it would be over 16. Well, we're well over that, and we should be in good shape in terms of what they offer us. Do not be surprised, though. Make sure you're sitting down when you get offered a quote, unquote, tracked con contract rate, I'm sorry, on the dinar, because I know it's going to be very amazing. I've heard of these rates before, and I've been keeping up with them, and it's going to blow your mind.